Hello, I'd like to demonstrate the photoelectric effect. The photoelectric effect uh, is, uh, for example, if we have a metal surface and we shine light on it, some of those electrons get ejected. Here I have a statement of the photoelectric effect. Electrons absorb the energy of light in quantum units called photons. The electrons are then ejected, but only if the photon energy is sufficient. The energy of each photon is proportional to the frequency of the light associated with that particular photon. Uh, this is the equation uh, for that that Einstein developed. Energy is equal to Planck's constant times the frequency. So it takes a critical energy and therefore it takes a critical frequency to eject even a single electron from that metal surface. Now I'd like to demonstrate that with the help of this electroscope in which I have a zinc plate mounted on top of the electroscope. I'm going to charge up that zinc plate and then we'll try to discharge it by various processes. So if I rub the rubber and the fur, I'm rubbing electrons from the fur onto the rubber and then if I touch the uh, rubber to this uh, zinc plate on top of the electroscope, then that'll drive uh, electrons down to the movable arm as the electrons repel one another. And we can see, indeed, that the electroscope is now charged. And, of course, I can discharge the electroscope by merely touching it with my finger. I can draw those electrons onto my finger and discharge the electroscope by having the electrons leave via the pathway of my finger. Now I'm going to uh, charge the electroscope again by uh, rubbing electrons from the fur to the rubber and then uh, allowing those electrons to flow onto the uh, zinc plate on the electroscope. So we have the electroscope uh, charged up and now I'm going to attempt to discharge the electroscope by shining visible light from this light projector, which is a fairly bright source of light, onto the uh, zinc plate on top of the electroscope. And we observe what happens when I shine visible light on it. Nothing happens. It appears that visible light does not uh, have sufficient energy to eject those electrons. Now let's try some ultraviolet light. Here I have a source of ultraviolet light. I'm going to shine that ultraviolet light onto the zinc plate and let's observe what happens. Notice the arm swings down. The electroscope discharges as we shine the ultraviolet light onto the zinc plate on top of the electroscope. Ultraviolet light has a Frequency greater than that of uh, visible light. And uh, even though visible light has a range of frequencies, those frequencies in, in uh, general are less than the frequency of the uh, light of the ultraviolet source. Therefore, the energy of the visible light is less than the energy of the ultraviolet photons. And uh, showing that uh, with ultraviolet light, the frequency is sufficient to eject the electrons. With visible light, the frequency is insufficient to eject the electrons, demonstrating that it takes a critical energy and a critical frequency to eject even a single electron, the photoelectric effect.